Soyoshi Toyama is a senior researcher at Toyota's Info Technology Center in Tokyo. He is part of the team that developed a new automotive testbed they call Pasta. Please welcome Toyama-san to stage two. Yes. Um, now, as you know, maybe as you know, uh, um, lots of ECUs are in Beigo to realize making driving comfortable. So uh, ECUs interact with um, other ECUs via CAM protocols, by messages of CAM protocol. So, uh, but um, the CAM protocol is not designed with no concern about cybersecurity. So there are so many um, attacks, very big news, um, legal hacking. Um, about three years ago, or four years ago, to two hackers, Jeremy Ran and Chris Varasek, they are something like superstar. Um, the president did that. Jeep Chrysler hacked and a running car. As a result, Chrysler has big gold, 1.0 million vehicles. It's very, very good, big news. So, um, but um, we need much more um, specialists, secu cyber security specialists who knows about cyber security and information security and vehicle security and be good system itself. It's very difficult to develop such a um, uh, specialist. From OBD2 port, as you can see, it's a um, diagnostic port. So uh, first, uh, there is no central gateway. Um, uh, a few years ago's models, um, so uh, they um, the attackers can easily uh, into send a message to ECUs via OBD2, so and control the vehicle behavior. It was uh, academically um, reported in 2010. Uh, there are no harmless real car for testers, which is generalized one. Once uh, you attack the commercial vehicle with no um, relationship with OEMs, uh, OEMs is uh, car makers, you will be, it's not a good thing, so. Uh, to, and we need to develop a platform, not only for Clack, but also hack. Hacking must be mm, creative. So anyone can study by the playground vehicle and newly proposed security technology can be evaluated in the common platform. So open, safe, and attractive platform for vehicle cyber security system is required. It is apparently obvious. So, the, so we developed the pasta. The philosophy of pasta. That's all we, I want to say. Open, safe, adaptable, and portable. First, um, sorry, a lot of characters. Oh, um, it must be based on non proprietary technologies. We must open so that you can hack. You can hack anything. And adaptable, it's, it's, uh, if just uh, only uh, um, the ECUs, commercial ECUs cannot rewrite or uh, update yourself, it's not uh, so uh, creative. So uh, you sh users should be able to rewrite the firmware of ECUs and design yourself of your vehicle. It's very creative. And it's safe because the actuators, no actuators, by simulation and portable, is preferred to be small. Platform is preferred to be small and portable so that you just can study your research anywhere. I can bring it here from Japan to here, it's portable, yes. 
So uh, this is pasta. So I'd like to show this one. It's very easy to show that. Can you? Like, is there a camera? Okay, so you can show on, so uh, something like a new, a rear vehicle, yes. And there are steering, um, you can see uh, the tires moving. And the headlights. Accelerate. Oh, sorry, um, sixth position is not, it's still um, parking. Now it's drive. It's kind of speeding up. So, accelerator is off. The echo mode um, is echo. <laughs> so, and open the dra doors, door locks, side brakes, and hazard ramps. And there are some. Uh, very um, basic um, functions in in our pasta. So yes, please go back to our presentation. Um, go back to the presentation. Yes. Okay. And uh, it's very um, portable, so uh, uh, it's safe, uh, apparently portable, and it's safe because there is a simple simulator in the attached case. Behavior of the operation can be compounded from three LED panels. The bottom side of pasta, maybe you can see, but like this. I will show this one um, tomorrow's um, CTF room um, from a 10 a.m. to uh, noon. So if you like it, uh, so please come to here, to come to uh, the CTF room. I don't know where the C CTF room is, um, but I will search, search for. So um, there are frequently used attack surfaces are equipped in this uh, here. Uh, creeping areas and uh, OBD2 ports and junction boxes. So you can modify the program of each ECU by C language. And also, uh, inside of ECU, there are LS232C port and JTAG port. You can rewrite the one. And also, the design of the ECU we will open. Completely open, yes. It's still ongoing project, but so uh, it's not on um, nothing open uh, uploaded in a um, web website. But um, we are now working hard. So also, um, car makers still uh, try to make a secret the can ideas, but we designed. Can IDs tables for pasta, so we can open this one. So, of course, you can rewrite the um, can ID messages, can ID what the can ID means, and each protocols protocols of how the ECU behaves, the frequency of can ECU send messages, you can rewrite any, anything. So, but I, this, is, this is different from a real vehicles, but it's very big um, impact to um, the vehicle field. Uh, so, 
the information flow in pasta is a, there is a control area upside and send the message to bottom side and they, they share the information and send back to um, the other ECUs and the actuators. So uh, pasta is adaptable. And here is a pasta, this data case, and uh, we can uh, connect the physical input and the scale model vehicles via Bluetooth and uh, um, software vehicle simulator via CAN. So uh, it makes uh, the behavior is real. Munition on and make it drive and accelerating. It seems very smooth. The point is that um, the, this um, uh, controller directly do not directly control the simulator. They con it control the pasta and then send the CAM message to a. Uh, um, vehicle simulators and uh, the situation of uh, vehicle simulators send back the CAM message to PASTA. So it's completely different from directly um, uh, controlling a driving simulator. So maybe um, it's an incident demonstration is very exciting, but um, it's horrible. So there is a caution. <laughs> yes, it's not, of course, Toyota vehicle. And also, it's not Chrysler vehicle, um, anonymous vehicle. <laughs> um, this is a um, uh, typical attack demonstration via OBD2 port. So malicious attackers send the CAM message from OBD2 port, and then um, they behave, the, uh, they send the CAM message to a driving simulator and send back. So uh, effect is noticeable because we have not implement enough safety function in software of ACU in pasta. So it's very easy to attack. No security is inside. And safety functions. Real vehicles are made it very um, uh, with carefree, so it's not easy to um, hack hacking next videos, right? like next videos. Mm. Mm. The attacker controls the steering wheel. It connects to the OBD2 port. So, they can send the uh, CAM messages to PASTA. The driver's hands off and send the messages. Going to right. It's very horrible. So, before the takeaway, um, can the philosophy of PASTA apply to ICS test beds? I do not so much about uh, ICS test bed, ICS and security and ICS test bed, but maybe um, my, um, this is my opinion. Uh, here's my opinion, and uh, I hope that this opinion help you to make to develop uh, ICS test bed. Um, you need to make the purpose clear of test bed. If the test bed is uh, for educational use, you need to design it according to the skill set, which is obtained by the test bed. And test bed needs to be con developed considering how much it should resemble to real system. It's sometimes it's not so um, uh, similar to real ones, but sometimes it's very real. So before designing the test bed, develop the test bed, we need to 
you need to um, consider so deeply. So if this best objective is only to show the importance of ICS security just for showcase, it may be um, expensive and large size. You can um, make an expensive and large size. But for educational use, um, there are a lot of um, users, so it must be, must be the, uh, more cheaper. So, and also uh, um, test bed must be attra attractive for practical attack. Attractive and practical attack surface against ICS and commonly used communication protocols are genuine. Uh, we use the genuine real CAM message, CAM buses. The physical one. Physical one is very attractive for hackers. So some, um, is a simulator is its imitation, but um, these systems in physical are real, very real. So uh, we have to um, consider separately. I don't know so much about um, ICS systems, uh, ICS uh, protocols used in ICS. Also, also I heard that uh, CAM protocol is used in uh, ICS. But other um, protocols, we hackers would like to touch the one. So, if you develop the one and hands on to hands to uh, hackers, they become um, hacking mode, and you they they can show that the good uh, techniques and security in averages. And opening up the specification of test is very, very important. Opening up the specification. If the, it's made secret, you can't get no knowledge. Making the specification of test bit as open as possible, bring the attention of many people and raise the sharing and knowledge. Research will, this is the point. Research will accelerate through collaboration with academia. They can re write a paper and share the knowledge and make the um, each vehicle or ICS security world better. The takeaway, uh, pasta is open and safe, adaptable and portable. Very nice. So, um, Pasta can be a common platform for automotive service security research and development, and educational too. And I believe that the philosophy of Pasta can be applied to security aspect in ICS. And if there are any um, opinions, if you have, let's have a discussion with uh, me. I will walk around here, around there, outside. So please come to me and let's have a discussion. So um, for more information, the pasta old and GitHub and mail. GitHub is still no content. I'm so sorry, but I'm working hard. There is uh, so much um, protocols um, in in our company. So, the Q&A. Before Q&A, FAQ. A lot of, a lot of uh, questions come to me. Uh, made me. Uh, so, how much is pasta? I can't answer right now. But it's, I guess it's a bit, a cheap, bit um, um, expensive. About the price of a charcoal. So, can I buy the pasta? Oh, wait a moment, please. I work hard. So, why the specification on pasta is not open yet? <laughs> I answered already, but after Black had your presentation, we know that, noticed that there are so many procedures required to open the specification on pasta. 
in my company. I'm sorry for a break. Thank you. Back to you, Andre. Thank you very much, Ms. Uh, Toyama-san. Uh, hi, I'm Tomomi Aoyama. I'm um, assistant professor at Nagoya Institute of Technology. I'm be the moderator for this session and the next session. Does anybody have a question for Toyama-san? Well, if there's nobody with a question, I have one question, Toyama-san. Um, so you brought this very lovely device from Japan. And how did you explain this to the TSA agent at the airport? Uh, so, so, sorry, what? At the airport, when you go through the security, yes. how did you explain what are you carrying? Um, this is a vehicle in a box. <laughs> did they buy it? They said uh, very um, seems to be very um, suspicious. But opening up, and here is a vehicle. Oh, I see. There is a steering. Oh, boom. So I get through. <laughs> Once again, we learned the importance of successful live demonstration at the airport. But thank you very much to Amazon. Thank you.